Hey everybody, how you doing? Damien back with Disturbing Creations DIY. I'm sorry I skipped two weeks. I was sick and I got LASIK eye surgery, but I got a couple of videos I was working on, so we're gonna launch a few this week to make up for it. So today I noticed that my microwave's in a real bad situation, starting to rust on the inside, which means the protective coating on the inside is peeling away and it could be leaking radiation. So if this is happening to any of you, it's not worth it to save the money even though the microwave still works because you get small particles of the um, chemical that's light, laid on the outside or the inside. And we're gonna take a look at that here in a second. Also, you could get any rust particles in your food and that could really damage the inside of the human body. So just don't deal with that at all. I have been dealing with it for a long time because I didn't know any better, but someone taught me as soon as they saw it. So let's take a look at it. And normally someone would just throw this in the garbage and get zero for it. Maybe if you took it to the scrap yard, I would say it's 20 pounds, 10 cents. You might get a dollar fifty, two dollars for it. But I'm telling you, I have a feeling that if we take this microwave apart and open it up, we are going to make way more money. So first of all, um, I've already repaired the cord on this thing once and extended it. So now it's got like an eight foot cord. So we're going to unscrew this cord. And I know there's got to be some kind of fuses in it as well. So if you have a product that needs a fuse, why go to the dollar store or down the street and have to spend a dollar for a fuse when you got one right here for free? So we're going to get at least a free cord and a fuse. But I know there's other computer stuff in there. And I think there's some copper in there as well. Now, I would rather take the... 10 pounds of copper, the little machine out of it and maybe get a few dollars for that and throw the rest of the box away or put it for scrap, but who knows? So let's get the screwdriver out and start working on this thing. So this is the little culprit right here. It says 2014 on it. I got it for free um, as a hand-me-down. And I've had it for six years. It's worked great, uh, but it actually still works. But as you can see, it got water condensation in here and it turned to rust. Now, I thought because it was on the door, uh, you know, where it closes, it's not flying around. But now it's starting to get on the back side as well. So I really didn't see this too much. I know there were some bubbles in there but it didn't ever, um, it didn't ever like peel off. So my buddy got in there with the finger, started scratching this and he was like, oh, no way, no way, you can't do this. This, you're, you're getting sick, you know? Like, I can't believe you have this, throw this out. So we're throwing it out. So we're gonna flip it over. We're gonna take some screws apart <clears throat> and we are gonna see what's in this thing. Okay, so I see, I took a couple of them out. They're um, hex heads or Phillip heads, but there is two that are security tip. Let's see if I can get a focus. Now what this is, this bolt right here, this is a Torx head. It looks approximately like a 25, but it has this little nipple that sticks out in the middle. If you don't have a Torx head with a hole in the middle of it called a security bit, you are never going to get this off. This is not a regular Torx head. You, you have to find something else. But you can go to Harbor Freight and get a whole set of tips that comes with this little tip. It'll come with like four or five of them. And it, it'll guarantee to fit this. Um, it, I think that kit is under 15 bucks. It was $10 like five years ago when I bought it. And I know they still sell it. So I, I would say under 15 bucks. So I'm going to take this security bit out, this security build bit out. We're going to slide this deck off the side, the top, and then we're going to start taking this bottom, all this bottom stuff that's locked in here out. Once I get this top piece out and we can look inside and see what kind of magic goes on in one of these things, then we can make a decision if it's worth it or not. Say hello to my lovely assistant, Meadow. 
All right, so here is the microwave, right? And I got the case off this piece. So this is just like a piece of stainless steel, but stainless steel is worth more at the scrap yard than um, regular lightweight iron. So even if you divided all this stuff up and take it to the scrap yard, you'll get more that way. So, I guess there's some directions and stuff on here, cautions, warnings, but this is the box. Oh, wow, look, that's rust under there. That's exactly what it looked like. Oh man, that, this, so this is dangerous, dangerous. Shouldn't be doing this. And then there's, I guess there's a vent on this side. And then this is the goody stuff over here. So let's, let's move to this side over here. All right, let's see what we can uh, figure out. So this is the plug and the plug comes up to into here and it looks like it just kind of lifts up. Maybe I can pull it out, okay. And uh, it looks like it's just into this board here. Oh, it just popped out. And the whole board fell off. I'm trying to get this piece out here. Open this. So it's probably going to just break the piece off. There it is. So the piece is still in there from the board. Or the, the piece is still in there from the board. That's okay. We'll just pull that out. And the other one came out. So they're supposed to look open like these. And then we take the this out and then this is a three wire so it's really it's a really nice wire and you see i can i i've already repaired it once where the plug melted <clears throat> but i didn't rip i didn't repair it correctly you, you this you're not even supposed to use walnuts and uh i added so now we have a nice long plug we're going to take this out right here the ground and then that plug's gonna come off completely. So that's nice. That came with a screw and a locking nut. So if we use this on another application that locks in, we got a free screw and a locking nut. So we got the cord. And if it doesn't lock in like this, then we can cut these ends off and butt connect them into whatever we want or solder them into whatever we want. And we don't need this junction box either. That's just like, you know, if you want to tape this down or screw this to the wall, you, you have an option. But if you don't want any of this, then you could just cut it here, strip it back, and then reconnect whatever you want in. So we got a free cord. And then here's the little fuse. So if your microwave ever shuts off and it doesn't work and everything looks new and it's acting new, take this case off here, this top case, and look for this fuse. You see the metal thing? in there that's that'll be popped that's pretty thick so it looks like this is a high wattage fuse so th this might be like two dollars you know a dollar at least so we got eight foot cord and a fuse and whatever these connections are as well we're going to take this sensor out i don't i don't know what this sensor is it might be temperature sensor or something but we're going to take this out um, these pieces of wire or green board, I think they were like 80 cents, uh, a pound. So just, if you get some more green board, like we have over here in the front, uh, put the, all this together, you might get a couple dollars out of that. Sometimes you get lucky and you'll find gold on the green board. You can melt the green board down. There's a technique to do it. I saw it online. I have a lot of green board, so maybe we'll do it together in another video. But you see this is copper here. 
if you pop like here here and wherever it's connected and take this piece of copper off you can unwind the copper and the fresh copper i think by itself plain is around three dollars a pound so if you can clear this copper plus this huge ball of copper we're going to find down in here uh, that's three dollars a pound so we would have only got two dollars for this microwave if we threw it away as scrap but tearing it open we got a free fuse we got a free uh eight foot cable um we've got some copper some copper down here some stainless and we haven't even really ripped it apart so let's see what else is in here it's kind of like tearing apart a computer i feel you know i've always i've always torn things apart i've always been curious since i was little i should have been an engineer but my so just because you made it this far i got a little joke for you but my family was poor and i didn't have a dad so Hey, got to make the best of it, right? So... This system looks... This thing is weird looking. It's got circles and stuff in there. And it looks like this is the radiation machine that pushes radiation through the wall in here. Uh, this is a big block of copper. Uh, you can see the copper here underneath the, the plastic. So this copper is considered dirty because it's stuck with this big piece of iron around it or whatever material this is. But these will still at least get you a dollar, a dollar twenty-five. And this thing is probably most of the weight of the whole machine. This this thing is probably eight pounds. So if you get a dollar for eight pounds, this is eight bucks. And you save a dollar on the fuse. And like maybe three dollars on the cord. So we're already up to 12 bucks and we haven't even scrapped anything yet. Um, I don't know what this little machine is, but we're going to figure out what this little thing is after we take the bottom off and disconnect all the wiring. So if wiring has a connection on it, I'm going to keep it and pull it off. That way I can clip it on to something. So if it's if it's wired, you know what I mean? If you have to buy these clips to put in stereo systems in your car or any of these these little like plastic clip things like this, like that's called the female because it's got the circle and the male is the little piece that sticks out or the slave. And then you put this over it and it makes a connection and it pinches in. So if you have to buy all these connections, these connections in wire is expensive. I rewire cars and stuff all the time. This is really good looking wire. Nothing's burnt. Nothing's wrong with it. So I am going to use all of this and not have to buy connections. Or at least on one side. You know, if I need a two wire, I want to plug up two things to one, two speakers. I'll put this into the one thing. And then I'll solder this into each of the whatever speaker wires. So now I have a splitter free with a, cable, with a, a terminal end on it you know so let me pull some of this stuff out and um, we'll go over it all right so i got it torn down i took all the screws out and i've got everything i looked up prices and you're going to be amazed of you can actually make more money than almost what the microwave's worth by just selling the pieces and look at this little guy trying to get into my video like always huh hey wolf you like the microwave? He likes anything to play in a box, you know? All right, so let's look at the pieces. I'm going to explain what they are and how to make money. And again, if you just throw this thing in the garbage, you get nothing. You get zero. If you take it to the dump and you just throw it for scrap, you get about $2. I am so amazed at what we found. Let's get right into it. Okay, so I got my uh, parts all torn apart. I really didn't do much except for take all of these little screws out. And there was only the two screws that had this special head. It had the locking. You see it has the... You see it, it's not only a Torx, but it has the little nipple in the middle. So that's a security bit. 
So two dollars or a dollar for two of these. This is a very high capacitor fuse. It's very thick. Um, it was a dollar for this. It was 75 cents for these metal to plastic screws, Phillips. A dollar for the metal to plastic screws for the bigger one. And because we had so many of these metal to metal screw, regular Phillips was $1.25. So just these screws right here, just these and the the one two, um, what was this? A dollar. That's three. This was seventy five cents. It has three seventy five plus the dollar seven uh, dollar fifty. This is five dollars right here, just in screws and a fuse. That's more than what we. You didn't even have to tear anything else apart, and you could have already saved more money than taking this whole machine to scrap. Now <clears throat> we did get a couple pieces of iron. So the door, I couldn't, didn't want to take it apart. I didn't get it apart. So we're just going to throw that in the Lazy Boy scrap for like eight, ten cents. But the rest of this is steel. So the steel box that was the microwave, and the, the steel plate on the bottom, those, those get like 12, 13 cents. And here's where all the stuff was that came out. So let's look at some of the stuff. I'm excited about some of the stuff. So here's a cord, an eight foot cord that we're gonna keep. And it's a it's got the two ground or the, the, the line in, the neutral and the ground. So it already has connections on the end if we want to connect this to something and screw the ground in. It also came with a nut and a screw, so we didn't have to buy those. So I'm saying if I if you have to replace your vacuum cord or a cord on another microwave or something, you might have to pay five bucks for this cord as well. So this cord and this, five bucks, were ten bucks already. Um, this is a high capacity, very fast fan. This is faster than your fan on your computer because it's got an actual capacitor built into it to regulate speed and heat. This fan pushes heat or actually sucks the heat out in the, the water uh, so that there's no moisture in your unit. So I'm saying that this fan is probably about uh, $10 because it comes with this capacitor. I'm going to use this on something else that I'm building for another channel. We're building a podcast and I'm going to have a lot of expensive high-end equipment. So we are going to just plug this in positive and negative to a switch and every time we turn the equipment on, this high capacitor fan is going to blow. And we got it for free, so that's a free $10. Um, and it has like some little mounting hardware to even help us. So 10, 5, and 5 is 15. Now this high discharge capacitor, I just looked it up. And these go used for $20 all the way up to $80. This thing is full, full of copper windage. It is heavy. This thing's like 10 pounds. You could work out with this thing. <clears throat> now it says discharge this before you service it. Um, I unplugged it from the wall and I let it sit overnight before I messed with the machine and that discharges any um, residual energy that's in the capacitor here. I also do this for my vehicles when I work on them. I discharge, I, I let the vehicle sit for um, 15 minutes to a half an hour before I work on it to discharge capacitors and batteries. Now I'm going to use this as scrap for scrap metal. Um, I don't think that it works too well. It kind of looks burnt a little bit and I cut the wires off anyway. And I'm just going to throw this, all this copper that came with this together. So this would have been a minimum of 20, maximum of $80 you could have got. So <clears throat> let's say 20. That's, let's say 25. So we're at 20 for this stuff plus 25. We're at $45. Um, this machinery here, I, I forgot the name of this, but I looked it up online as well. And these go used for $13 or new 
Uh, this is what pushes the radiation into the to your machine, and it goes into this hole right here. So it goes into this hole and it bolts in, and that was that. Uh, this goes used twelve dollars um, up to fifty dollars. So let's say twenty five in the middle. So we got twenty five, twenty five, and twenty. So we are at seventy dollars. Um, this high power capacitor can be used in a lot of different applications. It's got in and out. And um, I got lucky that it came with this little piece. So you could screw, you could drill another hole in here and, and lock this down or just lock it one or you don't have to lock it at all. You, you could put it somewhere else. I kept one of the wires on it just to show you that you can uh, put a terminal connection wire on there and then put it to anything that screws in or whatever. These also were $12 used and $40 new. So we're going to go with $20 in the middle. So we got 25, 25, 50, plus another 20, that's 70, plus 10, 80, plus 5, 85, plus 5, 90. Now this thing, this thing was kind of cool. This is what turns the turntable um, inside your microwave. Now I kept some of the wiring on it as well, just so I had the correct wiring and the connections and everything if I want to use this again. These are pretty generic. I only saw about three different kinds of these and they bolt up all the same. They work all the same. They take mostly the same amperage. This is just the turntable to, to spin the glass plate and that's it. <clears throat> now this, was, uh, I think it was 15 to $40, 15 to $40. But it did not include this turntable top piece. And you see the connections are all the same. You can put anything you want on this if you have some crafting skill or ability, um, or just Google, you know, how to, how to make crafts or science projects for your kids or whatever. You can lock this into anything, put power to it, and it'll spin. <clears throat> the spinner, though, I couldn't find this um, for less than $8, and I think you get two of them. I don't know why you get two of them. That's weird, because this one's like 12 years old and still works. But let's just say $5 for one and $20 for this. So for a whole kit, $25. So we're up to $90 plus another $25 is $115. Um, this heat light came out of there. This is what lights up inside the microwave when you open up. So this is a special socket that won't melt or burn out. A special bulb that won't melt or burn um, I kept it all together on its little heat shield. It came with an aluminum heat shield to dissipate heat from the side of the machine. And I kept its wiring and cut it off so I could wire it into whatever I want, positive and negative. And it has two separate wirings. So when you open the door and the machine is off, this light will come on so you can see in. When you close the door, the light goes off. But when you operate the machine by pressing the buttons and it's cooking, the light also comes on. So it has two power sources, two grounds, which I found fascinating. Now, I don't have to use that. I can take these off and put my own on and save these wires for something else. And they're already spliced in. Or you can put this in almost any microwave that your light goes out. This is $10. It was around $5, $6 for the bulb. And it was like three fifty for the socket, and then you get the heat shield and the wiring for free. So that's another ten dollars. We're up to one hundred and twenty-five dollars. We got a glass plate as well. The glass plate. I'm I'm gonna keep that glass plate for my new microwave. So in case you ever break your glass plate, those plates are ten dollars a piece. So that's what um, are we up to one twenty-five or one thirty-five? I I forget. So let's just say one thirty. Um, this is the circuit board, one of them that came out. 
this piece of copper came on it but you get more for dirty copper by itself so it's going with the capacitor and I will get like 80 cents a pound for the green board uh, this is also the main green board that has the countdown uh, timer on it and this is where you punch in all your numbers this pad on the front keypad now if I was a computer person or I made my own computer software I would take my soldering iron and take this block out this block right here to count down is four dollars but I don't know I'm not gonna ever use it you know you just unsolder this stuff and pull it out I'm never gonna use it so we'll probably get like 50 cents for the green board uh, then I, I got some extra wiring here you know that I cut off just to keep all of these little uh, terminals and capacitors you have to pay for all this so if I need a little piece of wire to connect in a speaker or something and then solder it in well I already have the wire with the connection on it and some of these have protective boots on it as well you know and we got another ground with a nut and a screw so we just solder it in if the ground ever burns up somewhere rebolt it and put it right back uh, we did get these little pieces as well. I was not able to find out what these little three little pieces were, but they just unconnect from these terminals as well. And then you could put them in almost any microwave. And um, these thermal capacitors also, there's two of these. I could not find how much these cost, but I'm sure um, they're mostly the same in all microwaves. So if you wanted to do a craft or something with these, I have no idea what these cost, but I know that they cost something. So we're already up to $130 without the cost of the capac these thermal capacitors. Um, these switches, this is a, a switch on off switch. So if something pushes against this, it engages. Or um, if it pulls away, it engages. I have to look up what they are. The, the information is on here. So I can make a push switch but it doesn't connect you you have to push it and hold it all the time and all this extra wiring so we got all this stuff 130 dollars and that's not even the top end remember we only took 25 for this capacitor that was 12 to 50. we only took 20 for this capacitor which was 13 to 45. and this used was 20 dollars plus shipping and a new one was um $85 so I mean we took the the cheapest of this so look at all these great things if you have an hour and you just want to learn get your screwdriver out start taking some of your stuff apart and see what's in it I mean I have never taken a microwave before but I am pretty mechanically inclined as you can see if you watch any of my channels my disturbing creations DIY this channel um, my disturbing creations auto where I, I build weld I, I've taught myself to do everything and you can too and that's why I'm putting it out on YouTube because I want you to see how easy it is to learn some of this stuff and build your confidence and you can make money on nothing like this is scrap most people throw this in the garbage. I've said it 10 times. You get zero. You get nothing. And for an hour, um, I could possibly make $100. Just, you know, I'm sitting, I'm watching TV. I, I was listening to a cartoon in the background, um, American Dad, while I was doing this. I don't have to watch. I know what the characters are. And I just listen to the voices and tear this stuff apart, and I'm going to make money. I got a high-capacitor fan, all these screws, um... Uh, some cool little gadgets to to make stuff with a turntable why free wiring I, i'm i'm going to show you in new videos that i make like hey do you remember when i took this microwave apart and i got this free wiring or i got this free cable or i got this free plug you know we didn't have to pay for this now because i tore this one item apart and i saved all these components or i scrapped them and made five times what i would have made you know the two dollars they would have gave me um i could probably scrap all this stuff and still with you know you get more for capacitors you get more for green board you get more for this more for that i'd, I'd probably make 35 dollars just scrapping so um please learn how to do some of this yourself 
by taking these old p things apart that were broken or rusted, you learn how to um, develop a skill and how to make how to fix new items. So, what if the light on my microwave went out, but the microwave's only a year old? It's not under warranty. Well, now I can take the shield off the outside and get to that little bulb. And I, I kept the bulb for my last one. And I don't have to pay for that. And I don't have to pay for someone to come in and fix my appliance or send it out or buy a new one. You know, I just saved you hundreds of dollars. So hit that like button and subscribe because I'm saving you money. I'm building your confidence and I'm making you money. You know, all right. I'm Damien from Disturbing Creations. I hope you liked everything. I'm going to roll the credits here in a second. We love y'all. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. You're under my spell. Ha, ha, ha.